Ice climbing is something I wanted to try for a while, so I immediately said yes when I got invited to join the World Championships in Sassfe in Switzerland. My goal was to become as good as possible in only a couple of days of training and then try some of the actual competition routes. The strength you need in ice climbing competitions is not too different from normal climbing, but definitely not the same, and there is obviously a lot of technique to it. Petra Klingler, who is not only one of the best ice climbers in the world, but also a former bouldering world champion, was going to be my coach. But first, I had to learn the boring basics. Yeah, this is for kids, or? No, it's not. I mean, it's quite a steep wall. It's vertical. I mean, yeah. the stuff we'll, we'll climb later will be longer, yeah. but actually probably not quite as steep. So cool. put on the crampons? Yeah, we'll put the crampons on. Uh, I don't even know how to put these on. This is for the right That's or left? the uh, left, I think. Okay. Just tight. Yeah, what we'll do is I'll kind of show you how to kind of kick the crampons in and yeah. make sure you don't stab yourself. When you swing at the ice, initiate from the el shoulder, then with the elbow, and then as you get to kind of almost straight armed, it's the flick of the wrist, which is important. Okay. You'll see a lot of beginners kind of almost punching okay. the ice, right. like, and the pit going in that way. But you, yeah, flick of the wrist. One of the things that's important with ice climbing is to use all of your senses. Uh -huh. So when you look at the ice, if you look at, for example, this ice here, right. the, the ice on the front is quite clear yeah. compared to a lot of the blue stuff to the left and to the right. right. So this is going to be quite brittle. It's going to break. You see, kind of, yeah, yeah. it's going to break quite easily. So blue ice is where good. the blue ice is is, is better. Right. It's more solid. This, the, 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 the clearer ice has a bit more air in it. Yeah. And then when you swing, uh -huh. you'll feel when you're at when you get a good stick yeah okay so when you swing you feel the, the, the axe vibrate in your hand okay gonna go quick. but that's probably a sense that you have to develop yeah right? yeah kind of, I, but it, it comes pretty quickly yeah so try try just kind of standing on the ground and, and, and doing some swings and and yeah. uh and see uh see how you go or I just tie into the rope and try oh you can do that too yeah. well let's quickly let's quickly just talk about crampon technique then as well so if i lift my heel like this yeah you know, I'm pivoting around all over the place and I might get to a point where it actually just pops out the ice. If you keep your heels low and, and kick your feet in, stay nice and stable. So rather than having your axes next to each other like this, yeah. can I keep, have them one slightly higher than the other? So you'll, you'll have one here, yeah. one here, and then you move your feet up, swing your axe up here, and then swing your axe up high. So have you competed yourself, Rob? Uh, I have competed in a couple of local dry to win competitions, but nothing, okay. nothing major. Right. But yeah, I think the best idea is to get you tied in and let you have a go. I'm feeling low. I'm feeling low. So the goal for the next days is for me to get as good as possible at ice climbing. How good is it possible to become in like three days, do you think? I think for most people, Kind of getting to the top of this tower and doing some kind of uh, some longer pitches will be a pretty good achievement. Yeah. For you, I think kind of once you meet up with Petra later and uh, she starts kind of uh, yeah. drilling you on the on the dry tooling style, I think you'll pick that up pr pretty quick because okay. you'll have the uh, the shoulder stability and the uh, and the fitness to, to go with it. So yeah. uh, don't, don't don't be afraid to, to be brutal with it. Yeah. You, you feel that one there? You yeah. You feel the vibration where it's stuck? Yeah. It's That's gonna take a while for me to trust the axis, I think, because I feel like they're just going to come out. Yeah, so there'll be a few places where you can just hook. Keep your uh, weight into the wall. Can we keep your centre of mass into the wall? Yeah. So it keeps the weight off your arms. Awesome. Are you right-handed? Yeah. Yeah, your, your right your right hand swing is definitely stronger than your left. Okay, got you. Excellent, natural. It's just gonna take me a little while to get like trust it, you know? Yeah. I mean you seem to trust your feet really well, which is good. Yeah. Yeah, maybe kicking in a little more with your feet would probably help. I should also try not to probably lock my arms as much. Yeah. I I'm think, like very Yeah, biceps should ideally only hold you into the wall as opposed to Okay. Or up it. Right, right. How do you think that went? Yeah, it was really good. 
Yeah. Your, your footwork was really good. Yeah. I think you definitely, uh, your right swing was good. A little yeah. bit of work on your left. So those are the eye screws. Yeah, this is what we protect the climb with. We have a few different lengths. Mm -hmm. We have a long one, generally we use for making anchors. Yep. And then we have uh, the blue and yellow, which are 16 and 13 centimeters, which we generally use for protecting the pitch as we go. Yep. And then just in case we encounter some really thin ice, we've got a little short stubby 10 centimeter. Okay, nice. Yeah, and how long does it take to screw them in? You can generally, if you get good ice, you can generally put one in in about 30 seconds. Gonna give it a couple of turns just to get it started and then give it one push to get it to bite in the ice. And then you can just spin it all the way in. Oh, nice. That looks like that. so sweet. And then sweet. you see that the core of the, the ice starts coming out the middle. Yeah. You'll feel when it goes in that it's solid. If, it's, if it suddenly starts to spin quite freely, yeah. you'll know you've got into a pa patch of air. Yeah. Sometimes you'll go into a patch of air and then go back into ice on the other side. Uh -huh. Generally, if you spin into air straight away, you generally want to put it somewhere else, take it out and put it somewhere else. Okay. Yeah, Blue ice is good, right? Yeah. But kind of here is good, here will be good. What you, what you need to do is get it to a point where it'll hold itself in the ice. Because with two hands is obviously very easy, but I'm going to try to just use one hand. Yeah, that's it. So give it a few more turns with your hand. Two more. That's it. And you see the core of ice come out the middle. Oh, so satisfied. <laughs> All the way around until it's flush, and then that's good to go. That's good to go. Yeah. And this can support my weight. Yeah. Super solid that. Yeah. I would hang a car off that quite happily. You would hang a car off of yeah, that? No problem. Wow. It's incredible how stable or how solid ice can be. Yeah. That ice screw will snap before it comes out the ice. If it doesn't fall out automatically, if you get a core of ice stuck in the middle, you need to give it a good shake. Okay. So it's, 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 you know, see like we've got now. Because otherwise, if the ice freezes in the middle, then the, the, the screw basically becomes useless. Yeah, so you can give it a bash on the on the, on the, on the ice like that or just see it. Yeah. What you don't want to do, occasionally yeah. you can blow on it uh -huh. to blow the ice out, but don't touch it to your lips because if it's cold, <laughs> it's free, gonna it'll, freeze to your it'll mouth. Stick, yeah. stick to your mouth. And then you end up with uh, blood <laughs> all over the has, ice. Has that ever happened to you? Yeah, multiple times. Really? <laughs> you, only, you only tend to do it once per season. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I expected it to be fun, but it was actually more fun than I thought it'd be even. Yeah it's, yeah, it's kind of, I think it kind of taps into that kind of animalistic kind of yeah. side of things. Yeah, than, definitely. Uh, more, than, more than regular climbing does. Yeah. So that was just the very basics, but now to some real ice before meeting up with Petra at the Ice Dome. But first, a quick word from the sponsor of this video. So this video is brought to you by Raycon. I've used this exact pair for a few years now. They have up to eight hours of playtime and 32 hours of battery life. They come in a lot of different cool colors. You also get this compact carrying case that makes them really easy to bring with you no matter where you go. Raycon's everyday earbuds look, feel and sound better than ever. Ever, with optimized gel tips for perfect in-air fit. They're also about half the price of any other premium brands. Raycon's everyday earbuds have over 48,000 five-star reviews. And there's no way that they're gonna come out of my ear. Watch this. Oh, that's bad for my neck. Over the years, Raycon has showed me and this channel a lot of support. So please go check them out. The link is in the description, or you can also go to buyraycon.com forward slash magnet, and you will get 15% off. Thank you, Raycon, for sponsoring today's video. This is a lot bigger. Wait, so how tall is this one? Uh, I think you can climb it in two pitches, probably two kind of 30, 40 meter pitches. 40 meter. Yeah, so kind of 80 meters total probably. Yeah, we need to we need to move a little quite quickly just so that we can uh, get on on, on and off this climb yeah. before the sun comes onto it too much. It's already touching the top a little bit, but I think as long as we stick to the left in the shade, yeah, um, we, we, we'll, we'll be fine. So should I lead or do you lead? Or? Yeah, so I, I'll lead. I'll lead now. Yeah, and then uh, you can you can follow me up. That sounded very hollow, that. Yeah, you yeah. can hear it, and it sounds hollow. Can I screw in a minute? So one thing you'll need to be careful of yeah. when you're seconding, you're taking them out, 
Don't drop them. Yeah, I'll try <laughs> not to. So that was fun. Yeah. You, it's like you said, it's like you feel like it's kind of animalistic, you know, you're just like, I would like to lead, but you said that usually you have to wait a little bit before you lead. It's yeah, not... I, th I think it's good to get a little bit mileage under your belt on yeah. seconds. I think uh, Petra will have you leading on the mixed stuff. Good. I think you'll be, yeah. I think you'll, you'll actually find that a lot more comfortable. Yeah. Uh, kind of, because just with it's your background. Phys physical. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Whereas this, I think you kind of need to be a lot more solid and kind of yeah. confident with your sticks, right. with your with your axe placement. Because that's the thing now, when I, I'm not confident at all, I have no idea if it's a solid placement yeah. or a bad placement. And it's, and it's all about kind of learning to read the ice. Mm. You know, what you, I, I can look at a piece of ice and, and kind of yeah. ice climbers can look at a piece of ice right. and go, right, I know that that's going to be solid yeah. and I can swing once and yeah. it's going to go in and it's going to be perfect. Yeah. And it's just learning, it's just kind of gaining that experience. I'm really fascinated by the ice screws too. Yeah. How easy, how smooth it was, you know? Yeah. How well it works. But now we're going to do something very different with Petro. Yeah. It's a completely different style, right? Yeah, yeah. yeah. To become a kind of well-rounded ice climber, kind of alpinist, you know, kind of yeah. a mix of these skills is what you use in the mountains. Yeah. Um, but obviously Petro is going to teach you the, the, the competition yeah. style. And Petro will also compete in the world championships. Yeah. And she, She's one of the favorites, right? I hope so, yeah. yeah. She's, uh, she won the Swiss Championships um, a couple of weekends ago. Okay. And she was came second silver in the medal in the European Cup yeah. last weekend. Yeah. So uh, yeah, she should be uh, she should be up there. Nice. Should be really cool yeah. to see. And I will hopefully get to try some of the competition routes as well. Yeah, it'd be great to see how you deal with the kind of yeah. the, 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 the style. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, it's a very uh, it's different style. It's uh, a lot of figure fouring and stuff. Yeah. And also knowing when to match, when to place the axe in your mouth, yeah. and like, and also trusting it, kind yeah. of. You'll be able to see the axe on the hold, yeah, on the with the dry tooling style, and you can see it's it's all down to your shoulder st stability to keep it still. Okay, so right. then you can move off it. Ah, uh, okay. Yeah. Whereas on the ice, yeah. well, the pick disappears, and yeah. you're not sure whether the ice is good, how deep it right. is, all that sort of stuff. So yeah, it's, yeah. it's a little a little bit different. No matter who or when or what will. So this is Petra, uh, you're the world champion in bouldering from 2016, right? Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> and now you do ice climbing. I think I started at the age of 17, so okay. over 10 years. 10 years of ice climbing, <laughs> yeah. Well, uh, so I'm going to try the men's qualifiers, right? Exactly. And you're going to belay me and like this is the first time I do anything like it, so I'm probably not going to be very good at it, but I hear that you're a good coach. There are some yeah. tricks and some tricks. Okay. Things I can give you and which will help you not to be as pumped as you will be. <laughs> okay, as I will be. This place is so big. I don't know if you guys see it on screen, but it's like how big is it? 20 meters? I think over 20 meters. It's over actually. 20 meters. Yeah, it's oh. really long and... So the, in the qualifiers or in any round, you're allowed to pre-clip two clips, right? Yeah, there are two quick draws already clipped, yeah. just safety-wise. Mm. And the special thing actually in ice climbing is in qualification, if you fall before clipping your first own quick draw, yeah. you're allowed to start again. Oh, okay. Yeah, that's nice. It kind of helps because also with nerves. And usually when you fall on an ice climbing route, like when you fall on the lead route, you get pumped and you fall. But in ice climbing, how is that a similar pump or is it more like an upper arm? Pump um, you have kind of two different pumps. There's okay. like really the one from the forearm. Yeah. Even harder because in normal sports climbing, you always have like slightly different holes. Mm -hmm. So you use different 
right. parts of the muscle yeah. and you can change a little bit. Yeah, With yeah. ice climbing, you always have the exact <laughs> same hold in your hand. Yeah. Uh, so the pump gets even worse because yeah. the hold is actually good. So you right. can hold on really long. Yeah. But there's also the pump of the biceps just because you have like these moves which are yeah, yeah. just pull by the hands <laughs> or with figure fours. Generally, ice climbing is maybe a little bit more physical in the upper body than sports climbing. Yeah. So it can be that actually your lat or biceps are just like done. Too and you fall because of that. Yeah, or yeah. you just don't fall, but yeah. you can't move further. <laughs> right. And I've seen some videos. You do a lot of you matching and you hold, you can hold it here or here. And you also, you put the other axe in your mouth a lot. I've seen. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Um, so you basically have kind of two positions. Mm -hmm. First position or the, the short position, the yeah. long hold, it's like steeper. Yeah. And if you have the short hold, it kind uh, of right. drops yeah. down. Yeah. Um, then of course you have underclings as well. Uh, okay. And also here you have two. Two underclings. Two underclings. There's a lot of technique to this, I guess. It's technique, so. it's reading a route, yeah. um, knowing your ice axe, yeah. and then of course a lot of detail with positioning of the tool on a hold. Yeah, yeah. What would you say? Would it be easier to come from bouldering to ice climbing or from ice climbing to bouldering? Definitely from bouldering to ice climbing. Bouldering to ice climbing. Wow, well, maybe it's also just for me because I started bouldering and yeah, climbing yeah. and then came to ice climbing. Yeah. All right, so I'm just going to try it now. In the next video, we're going to try again. I'm going to try again and I'm also going to film you compete. So interesting. <laughs> yeah, that's uh, I'm excited to that, for that just to watch you guys, you know. Yeah, I think you thing. can learn a lot just by watching. Yeah. yeah, I'm sure. And if you want, we also can make a little observation of the route. I can yeah, maybe give you yeah. some hints on where or how to hold the, yeah. the holds. Yeah, that'd be nice. Or we can just do running, uh, running beta. We also just, can, yeah, yeah, as just you yelling from the ground, <laughs> <laughs> yell out yeah. whatever. As you want. Yeah.
Nice. Yeah, really good job. I had no idea that I would actually do the route. So it ended, I don't know if that was obvious for you guys watching, but it ended where the top rope was. Right? Yeah, it's like two axes on the last hole. Oh, so you have to match to the last. Yeah. Yeah. I think I might have forgotten to do that. You did. And I also cheated okay. once because you were supposed to grab it as an underclink. I grabbed it on top before. It's not cheating, but right. it's like riskier because there's no hole in, uh, okay. the, in the wood yeah. but normally the ice axe it grabs in the hole yeah. so a hold and there was one time that you actually grabbed a hold with yeah. your hand that was uh, for me the best part I, <laughs> yeah. I can feel you yeah. I'm kind of known as the climber using my hands okay. really often yeah. <laughs> also like crimps and stuff yeah I just hold on where others yeah. Who don't sport climb that much, can't hold, <laughs> yeah. and it's so much efficient, more efficient for me then. Yeah. Uh, so tomorrow you're gonna compete, right? Yeah, exactly. And I'm gonna get to film you. Uh, we're also gonna make another video, uh, so stay tuned for that. Good luck for the comp tomorrow. Thank you so much. Uh, make sure to follow uh, Petra on Instagram. Uh, make sure to like and subscribe, <laughs> and we will see you next time.